Well, kind of a confusing question, Jim, because uh, if you're talking about the Student Success Act that we voted on last week, we actually repealed No Child Left Behind. So uh, I, I think maybe if we've got the right bill, Jim should take a look at the bill. It repeals No Child Left Behind. It eliminates the federal testing requirements. It delinks the money from the feds that they're sending to our schools. It delinks that so our schools now have control over where those dollars go. In other words, gives more authority to the local authority. Um, but if you have concerns about education in general and the, fed, the federal government's involvement, I'm totally with you. Uh, this is the first step. I wish it would have gone a lot farther. I wish we would have cut some of the spending. I think we've got too much spending in it. I think we could have done more. But as far as what I was given to vote, uh, vote on, the Student Success Act is the beginning of delinking the feds from the, uh, the state authorities, more importantly, from parents. Now, incidentally, it also stops this Obama administration from pushing their education agenda by making it, uh, by allowing local school districts to opt out of Common Core without penalty. Uh, there are some good things in this bill, even though, again, I think a lot of us would have preferred that it go farther, and I think this is just the beginning. Anybody who knows my background uh, knows that I have always been and still am in favor of getting the federal government out of our education system. Uh, and in fact, we did have an amendment that was offered to the Student Success Act the day we voted on it to do just that. It was called the A-plus amendment, something I supported, something I voted for. Unfortunately, there aren't enough of us yet. Uh, in time, I think there will be, because I think we all understand that the parents and their local uh, administrators and teachers can raise and educate our children much better than the federal government can. So thanks for the question, uh, and hopefully uh, you got your answer. Have a great weekend.